everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with the Moray, and last video I showed you our new Blendabilities markers, and I'm going to do something different today. I'm not making a box or a treat holder or anything like that, but I wanted to show you these Blendabilities because they're so awesome, and I wanted to show you how simple they are to use. And um, they will be coming soon. They will not be available June 2nd when the catalog comes, but I will let you know as soon as they come out. Um, you can go to my blog at Stamping with the Mori, and I will post that, or I'll tell you in one of my videos. But um, I just want to tell you a little bit about them and show you how they work. So the first thing is you want to use the Whisper White cardstock because these are alcohol-based, and... Um, you do want to use it on the Whisper White. And these are some of the colors that they have. And they are your well-known Stampin' Up! colors. Like this is Coastal Cabana, Cherry Cobbler, Rich Razzleberry, Pumpkin Pie, and Old Olive. And then this one is Daffodil Delight. And they also have like a skin tone assortment. And uh, of course it's got the darker colors so you can use that. For your stems or branches or whatever also it's more versatile so how they did these was they pretty much made it really easy for you and each one comes in a three pack like this and it comes in a dark a medium and a light and there's a few ways that you could color in these images um, but you're, I'm going to show you how beautiful they look um, when they're colored in. Another point is that you do need to use the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. I mean, you can use any kind of Memento, I believe, but um, this is the Tuxedo Black, which is available at Stampin' Up! So I'm going to stamp a couple images, and then I'm going to show you how easy it is um, to use. So this is one of our new stamps that will be available June 2nd and it's called Blended Bloom. I love this and it's big enough where I can show you the detail. So I wanted to use that. And then we have another stamp set. It's called Bloom with Hope. And Another image, these two images right here are from that, and I'm going to use another image from the same uh, stamp set because I made a card, and I do want to show you the card. And I'm going to show you how to um, color in the one that I made for the card, which I'll later post on my blog. So let me go ahead and just stamp these two images. I'm going to show you that one, and then I'm going to show you this one, which I used on the card. But also another great thing is that on an image like this, some of the darker areas are already colored. And I, the way I do it is I have just been following the darker and using like the darker shade. You can also color in the whole image with the light and then start... Um, shadowing it the way you like it. I'm going to use the uh, Rich Razzleberry set. So I'm going to show you this one first because I did make a card with this one. And on this one I'm going to use the dark first. And this is how I've been doing it. I like to use the dark first. You can start with the light and go the other way. But it has two ends. It's got this little nib and then it's got a brush uh, tip. And the thing about these alcohol markers, they are very tight, the caps on here. And another thing is when you put the caps back on, lay it straight and push it until you hear that click. Because they will dry out if you don't do that. And you could lay it down like that and just push it until it clicks. Okay, so I'm going to start with this dark and I am just going to go around this darker images, the darker areas. Now I've done it both ways where I've colored in the lighter colors first. I just shad shaded the whole thing with um, the light color and then I just did my darker 
you can do it whichever way you like I just want to show you how simple they are and how pretty it looks when it's done so then I'm going to move on oops pulled off the wrong cap and I like to just hold it straight like that and put, push it shut I'm going to go for the medium and it says right on here medium light so there's no uh, guessing and then I just come in and I kind of leave the top and, and more so the center a little bit so um, that's where my lightest shade will go you can kind of do it like Copics where you know you look the way the light is hitting it and um, shadow it in that way it works the same way and then you just keep on blending. See, I'm going over this, the same colors, but it blends it all together until you do not see a line. So you just keep on. I'll show it better in the larger image, but you can go over the whole thing. And it blends those colors beautifully. I absolutely love these. I could not wait. We heard that they were going to be bringing out another marker, and I could not wait. I heard how fabulous they were going to be. But see, it's as simple as that. And that's a small image, um, so you can't really see, but as it dries, you're going to be able to see it a little bit better. And let me grab the old olive, and I'm just going to do the stem real quick. And for this three-pack, it's going to be like an $11.95, so it is really not expensive to get the set of three. I'm going to use a little bit of dark just to give it a little bit of shading. And then I'm just going to use the light. And I go right over that dark. Just like that. That I'm, I'm working on, and this is the one that I use. But see, it has little scenes, and I love the writing. It's really pretty. And uh, that's called Bloom with Hope, so that will be available June 2nd. And this is the card that I made using that. And I thought it came really pretty, very quick, easy. So I'm going to post that on my blog if you want to see that again. And then for this larger one, I'm going to go ahead and use the Cherry Cobbler. And you're going to be able to see much better how they blend. This is the dark, and I'm again starting with the dark. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one and show you how to do it two ways. So I color in these little folds because usually they're darker when you see them fold the that area folded over because the light doesn't hit it as well as much, but. I like to just color those in and I'm using the smaller side but the, for the larger areas I'll um I'll use the larger the brush side but I'm just going to show you and just go ahead and I don't want to bore you too much with all the details so I'm going to just do part of it for you but anyway, I'll start with the dark in here also, and then just bring it up a little bit on the edges. But there, it's very quick because, you know, especially if you're going to use the um, larger brush tip, that goes even faster. But I like to... Okay, and then I'm going to go to the medium. Oops. I'm going to use the brush so you can see it a little bit. I'm going to use this a little bit. But see, go right over that dark and keep on blending until you don't see the line anymore. And it just is awesome. It will disappear. And this thing just comes to life. It is so pretty. 
The colors are beautiful too. And you can go into like a circular motion and um, it helps to take that little line away. But you can keep going over if you want it darker or lighter. Or... Okay, and then I'm going to go to the light. And I'm just, I'm just going to show you this, um, this section because I, don't, I just don't want to bore you with my coloring, but it, it, it's so much fun. When you get them in your hands, you're going to see how, how great they are. You can do smaller images, larger images. They all look so pretty. But look how beautiful that is coming out. I mean, I just love these things. I know I keep saying that, but I do. Look, it, it looks so real. I don't even know if the camera is going to pick up how beautiful it looks, but... And then we have another, I'm going to just show you another... Um, Pen that we have it's the it's called the color lifter so where did I put it it's this one right here and what it does is if you get out of the lines and stuff it you can move it back it won't erase it but it moves it back inside the line you just can move it back also another thing is you can lift color off of here. You can see that I can lift the color right off there. If I wanted that area lighter or whatever. I mean, it's it's great. So if you do order these markers, be sure to get the color lifter too because it's very, very handy. But um, this is... I'm just going to finish this last one and show you how beautiful that is. I mean, can you see how beautiful that looks? I mean, it it looks almost real. It's so pretty. I really love these. And then really quickly, this is the, the light. So I wanted to just show you that you can just color this whole area in with the light. And that would be your base shade. And then, um, you can just come back in and do do your medium and your dark and just you can blend it either way and then just go back over it like with your light so you can blend it really good And that line just disappears right away. So there, there's different ways to do it. I always like to work from dark to light, but you can see how beautiful that is. It works either way. So that's it. And I also want to let you all know that I have a giveaway on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. And it is all Stampin' Up! products. So if you want to enter... Just um, subscribe to me by email and leave a comment, and you are in the drawing. And I'm going to draw it on next Wednesday, so the prize will be, um, person will be announced next Wednesday. So, be looking for the new catalog, June 2nd, and if you need a catalog, if you're, you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you'd like me to be your demonstrator, or you'd like a catalog, please just leave a comment for me and I'd be glad to send you one. So everyone have a great day. I hope you like the demonstration and look for these coming soon and I'll let you know when they'll be available but they are awesome. Everyone have a blessed day. Until next time I'll see you. Bye.